Hello, Sagittarius. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. We are working with the next world tarot this week, pulling out for our career, love life, and personal. All right, now keep in mind this reading may not resonate for every Sagittarius placement out there, so definitely feel free to check out your other readings or um, your other placements. I do these for all 12 zodiac signs. And if you would like to book a personal, that information is in the description of this video. All right. Getting into career, we're clarifying with the Rider Wade Smith deck. All right, we have the Hermit coming out. So I definitely feel like we are deep in thought this week. We are sort of withdrawing from communication from the outside world, and we're really going within. We're really searching for our purpose. What should we do next? Okay. We do have the Eight of Swords coming out, so I definitely feel like we are feeling a bit trapped by our own mind, right? By our thoughts. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So I definitely do feel like we might be struggling to really speak our truth this week. We might just be struggling to take steps forward, right? This is self-imposed restrictions right we don't want to get hurt we might not want to hurt somebody else okay because i do feel like with this king of pentacles i do feel like this is sort of the energy that we're coming up against so this could be somebody in our life who embodies these king of pentacles characteristics of being incredibly financially stable and able to support himself and his family but this can also be, to me, society and that, you know, that sort of nagging feeling that you're not doing enough, that you're not accomplishing enough, that you're not creating this abundance in the physical world, okay? So I definitely feel like there's a lot going on here in within our career energy, but I am feeling like we're almost withdrawing from our career, withdrawing from everything because we need this time. We need to process. We need to really find out what is next in our journey that's really going to align us with our truth and what we are trying to accomplish in this life. You know, what is the real truth of our heart our true dreams our true aspirations and sometimes you know that queen of wands on the bottom sometimes we really do have to you know really be able to get out our sword right and and fight off anybody who's trying to challenge what our needs are okay so definitely a bit heavy here in career but with the hermit, this is transformation happening through this process, through allowing yourself to take all the time you need to evaluate the situation, to go within, to have this deep thought. And that's just going to be the most valuable thing, right? This is mercury energy with the hermit. So I definitely feel like, you know, we're speaking to spirit. We're speaking to our higher self and all of this is going to allow us to speak to our followers whenever that time comes. Okay, so let's get into love light. Okay, so we have the five of pentacles. This is a bit of turmoil within our love life. There is some conflict here. You know, we might just not be feeling really good about our home life. You know, this could even be um missing someone in your life right like really wanting somebody to be in your life 
wanting to find that partnership if you're not already in it. Okay, with the Eight of Cups. Okay, again, this is an incredibly deep and profound card. This is whenever we're deciding to walk away from something that once fulfilled us very much. And we are not exactly sure where we're going. We just know that it wasn't working for us anymore and that we really needed to find the next new thing. So this card is an eight, but on here, I love the way there's five cups in the bottom. So that's indicating to me that there is some conflict with this, right? Because there is growth, but there's three cups on the top. So we're, we're embracing the conflict so that we can open up because we truly believe there is something out there for us that's, you know, calling our name. So it can be, you know, a bit stressful. Like we have the moon on the card and that to me brings up, you know, all the things that the moon represents in tarot, which is, you know, just all of those unanswered questions where am i going what am i doing but trust yourself right because you know what feels good to you and with the four of wands through this process we are finding stability we're creating harmony and we're going to be able to celebrate with those people who love us the people who love you are not going anywhere they're going to stick around they are going to support you and you know you just have to do what's best for you you have to make that choice and then let the cards fall as they may all right moving into personal look at that wheel of fortune and what is it holding for us okay we know there is a powerful new beginning here with the 10 yes 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 okay this is beautiful. So in our personal life, when we have the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, the three of cups here. So I definitely feel like we are opening up. And with the star, we are healing ourselves. We are nourishing ourselves, And, you know, we're also contributing to the world. And we're being recognized for our contributions. So I definitely feel like this is a beautiful energy here of just celebration and getting together with those that we love, that we communicate well with, that we have a good time with, and we are experiencing joy and we are just being recognized in a group. We're being recognized for all that we bring to the table. Okay, this beautiful Aquarius energy right here. Okay, we're working well with others. We might be collaborating with somebody and, and that could be the new thing that happens this week that really gets these wheels turning for us. So beautiful timing with this new moon in Taurus coming out. We do have the Queen of Pentacles also over this entire reading. So this week, Sag, we really need to embrace the sanctuary of our home, whatever that looks like to you. And, you know, whatever comforts you can find to soothe yourself, to comfort yourself, just do that. Take very good care of yourself and, you know, allow yourself to also be taken care of by others just you know it's a very nurturing energy here over the entire reading so you are going through some conflict right now so allow yourself to just be comfortable and create a safe space for you to process and and go through this week and it's honestly really beautiful all right, let's get us an oracle from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Relaxation. I think this is the third time this one came out today. So this is definitely a collective energy going on. All right, we have Harvest Moon. The sacred landscape wants you to know. When you receive this card, relax. 
all is well. No need to strive or push to get ahead. Beneath the surface of life, everything is gently propelling you in the right direction. You can lay down your burdens and simply unwind. Slow down and allow calmness to fill you. When you relax and relinquish control, your intuition expands and you create the space for your spirit guardians to help you. Additionally, it's vastly easier to heal and have positive outcomes in life when you are rested and not filled with worry and a need to control outcomes. Lie back, stretch out, and watch magic unfold in your life beautiful reading Sag. I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you want to book a personal with me, that link is in the description box. Please like this video, comment, share my channel with a friend. That really means so much to me. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. But most importantly, have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.